Hello and welcome from Dave M0 OGY. This is the final part review of the Vortex Quasar Q82 Mark II. Uh, this is a prototype antenna which is going to be available in the next few weeks. I've got it mounted now on the MM0 CUG mast which in uh, a future video I'll do a review on that. Uh, it's a good product at a reasonable price which is ideal for mounting both verticals and with the cage that comes with it anything up to uh, beams for VHF and HF but uh, it's in the same location as the 20 foot scaffolding pole was roughly um, and it's uh, quite handy for tilting the antenna over down the gap between the hedge so I can work on it. If you can see that I've actually spent a lot quite a long time and uh, probably three three uh, reels of self amalgamating tape joining uh, doing all the joints. Uh, it does have stainless steel fasteners and fixings from uh, the manufacturer but um, I'm a firm believer in self amalgamating tape all joints keeps water out and also strengthens the joints especially on the vertical elements like up there coax I've used um, a brand uh, called EcoFlex 10 which I got from Nevada Radio uh, it's absolutely pointless in my opinion using buying antennas like this with high gain and what worked well and then running cheap RG58 on it so I've bought some good coax which should uh, last uh, a long time and it's quite flexible this mast that it's mounted on does go from where it is now 17 feet to roughly 30 foot to the base of the antenna it's two section mast so it's all installed well and it does tilt over as well for, um, any maintenance or if the winds get exceptionally high they are two winches and it's in uh, a square a meter cube square of concrete but like I say in a future video I'll do a proper review of the uh, mass by itself so we'll see what it works like on there Right, hello and welcome back. Uh, sorry we didn't get any footage this afternoon on the bands, but uh, it's been extremely quiet and dead on the bands, so uh, some on air footage will be hopefully taken uh, in the next week or two. Anyway, what we're looking at now is a uh, chart showing the design of the antenna. This is the first antenna the uh, Vortex Q82 Mark 1 this is the current version what's available for sale not the one that I'm reviewing just looking at um, the plotting and it does say that uh, this antenna the first version has 4.41 dB dBi of gain So that's the uh, Mark 1 version and uh, I'll show you what the Mark 2, the new revised version with a longer basket uh, is in a moment. Well looking at the uh, plotting graph which is uh, he's, he's a neck plus, I think that's how you say it, um, you see the lobes are a lot lower instantly it's showing um, 5.82 dBi so it's got uh, more gain than the Mark 1 version I have found with the uh, analyzer that the VSWR curve its bandwidth is all the way from 24 to 30 megs with usable uh, SWR so the bandwidth is pretty awesome really so 
uh, a lot of the times with an antenna if it's got high gain it's got a very narrow bandwidth well this doesn't look like the case with this antenna it's certainly got a uh, very good gain for the style of antenna but uh, got superb bandwidth as well so uh, absolute bonus so that's just a brief look of uh, the plotting graphs and the design of the antenna I'm not sure if it's capturing it very well there on my white screen and my computer but anyway in the uh, next part of the video I will do some on air tests but um, anyway it's a bit more and I uh, hope you've enjoyed a, a look at the Vortex Quasar 82 Mark II Catch you on the next one. Best 7-3 from Dave M0OGY. Catch you in a bit. Bye bye.